Hey there folks, it's Antar, and today I'm bringing you a UU battle against Smasher225. Looking at his team in the team preview, I predict him to either lead off with Donphan or more likely Ambipom, and so I'm going to go ahead and send out Golurk for my lead. And indeed he sends out Ambipom, which is excellent because my Golurk is probably going to wall him completely. He is going to go ahead and U-turn, and that's fine with me because that's really all he can do. And you know, that's fine with me. I'm going to be able to get off the free sub just to see who's going to send in and do some damage before the sub breaks. Uh, he sends out Slowbro, which is probably his best counter for my Golurk, but I am going to be able to get off a Shadow Punch before he breaks my sub. So yeah, here comes the Shadow Punch. It actually does a fair whack of damage, but I'm thinking that's about 40%. So a solid 3-hit KO, but I'm not going to want to risk staying in here. His uh, Scald is obviously going to break my sub, and while there's a chance that I haven't actually ran the calcs, but I think there's probably a chance that I could survive that uh, another Scald and you know KO with two more Shadow Punches, but I really don't want to mess around with that because I kind of need Golurk later in the match to counter... Uh, both of his normal types, Ambipom and Snorlax. So I'm going to go ahead and send out Kazulu here, that's my Tangrowth, and Scald is going to do nothing. Luckily he doesn't get the burn, that makes me very happy. And here, you know, he could carry the Ice Beam, but I, or the Fire Blast really, but I just don't really fear that. So I'm going to go ahead and predict the switch into Houndoom and going to go for the Earthquake. And he sends out Houndoom, and I am just feeling so happy. Earthquake to the face, gonna take out that Houndoom, and I am one happy, happy person. Uh, because now that that Houndoom is taken out, if I ever send out Arcanine, I can feel free to lock myself into Flare Blitz and not have to worry about being forced out or you know him having him absorbing the Flash Fire boost. So yeah. Out is going to come Mamoswine, as I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Patrick, that's my Uxie, and you know, not really fearing too much. Uh, out, He's going to send out Snorlax here as I set up the Stealth Rocks, just figure it's as good a time as any. Now, I'm not going to be able to do anything against the Snorlax with my Uxie, but my Uxie's not meant for attacking anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and send out Clank here, predicting him to... Uh, body slam. Instead he goes for the fire punch, but you know that really didn't do too much damage. I mean it did uh, less than a quarter, so now I feel confident that I can set up my sub and that his fire punch is not going to break the sub. And so now I'm in a good position because I can go ahead and focus punch him and it will do a whole lot of damage. I'm not sure if it's going to one hit KO, but I kind of suspect that it will. So he goes ahead and predicts that and sends out Slowbro. Not very surprising. Um, but, you know, I didn't want to overpredict this early in the match. Focus Punch is going to hit, and it's going to do actually a fair amount of damage. Uh, and it looks like at this range I'll be able to KO his Slowbro with two more Shadow Punches. And I am faster, so even when he breaks my sub, I will be able to get off those two sh uh, Shadow Punches. So Shadow Punch number one hits, and uh, just watching the damage it does, I'm feeling fairly confident that another one is going to take out his uh, Slowbro. Now, Slowbro does have the Regenerator, and so this next thing is going to be fairly obvious, even though I don't predict it. Um, I'm at about half health here, and I am going to be faster, so that's great. And I'm just going to go ahead and Shadow Punch on the next turn, even though the switch was absolutely 100% obvious. He goes ahead and sends out Ambipom, so I know I could have predicted that and gone for the super effective, um, unprotected Focus Punch, or at least I could have gone for a sub, but I just didn't want to overpredict this early in the match, and as you see, he overpredicts my switch, and I go ahead and send up, send up, set up a sub as he goes for the low kick. And so that's excellent for me because now I'm going to be able to get off a focus punch. He's going to go ahead and U-turn. Uh, really great scouting move, but it's not going to break my sub. So I'm gonna, I'm fairly happy with how this is turning out. And Slowbro is obviously going to come out next. So now I realize he's basically going to regenerate or stall me um, because every time he switches, he gets a third of his health back and my focus punches are definitely not doing a third. Uh, so, as long as he can uh, continue predicting me, you know, he can keep doing this all day. So I've really got to get wise at some point. And some point soon. So now, I really could have predicted the switch, but I just didn't want to overpredict. I really wanted that slow bro dead, and I, th I think I predicted his overprediction. Blah blah. Um, he wins. <laughs> Shadow Punch does nothing. And now, I'm going to go ahead I don't remember whether I predict the switch or not. Uh, no, I actually predict him to stay in, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the focus punch, 
I believe that, yeah, his fire punch is going to break my sub, but what do I care? I get a focus punch off on him. It's going to be super effective. He hasn't gotten any curses up or anything. And I just love seeing that Snorlax's health go down, and he goes down, and I've taken out Snorlax. And that is excellent, because that was one of the biggest threats on my opponent's team. And I just didn't want to deal with it. Uh, out is going to come Slowbro, and so now uh, I'm going to go ahead and call Clank back. And I'm gonna go ahead and send Kazulu back out. So, yeah, I mean, the Scald is gonna be fairly obvious, but, uh, you know, it doesn't really do much. Now, he does get the burn, and that is gonna be unfortunate because my attack power is going to be halved, and Tangrowth doesn't really have the best of attack anyway, so I'm not gonna wanna be power whip whipping and whatnot, especially considering he could switch, predicting my moves. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep powder this turn, just thinking. Whoever he switches into will not like being put to sleep, and if his Slowbro stays in, that's excellent for me. So now it's all going to be a matter of hacks in terms of how long is his Slowbro going to stay asleep. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point I'm going to call back Kazulu. I do, in fact, do so. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and send out Hugabug, um, my, whatchamacallit, my Galvantula. I think I... Don't predict this switch. Do I predict this switch? I honestly can't. Oh no, well, we switch on the same turn. Never mind. Don fans at full health. He's gonna go ahead and ice shard me, but even as frail as Galvantula is, I'm not thinking that it's gonna do that much to me. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the energy ball here. It's gonna hit, it's gonna be super effective, and I'm just hoping that it will get him down to a sturdy, and it does. So I'm really happy. Oh yeah, there was a crit there. Uh, I'll run the calcs and I'll let you know whether that crit mattered. I suspect it did. I mean, Don fans are pretty bulky. But now I get to do something really, really fun. He probably went for another Ice Shard, and I went for the Sucker Punch and took him out. Uh, most Galvantulas are choice, usually choice specs this gen, um, or in this metagame. I really prefer to run the Life Orb set. It's just so great to be able to run Sucker Punch, and because no one expects it, even though it used to be the standard set. So anyway, uh, going to predict some stuff. Um, going to go for the th fire Flare Blitz here. And I'm not sure whether he had Thick Fat because I did get a crit, but I do take him out, so that's excellent for me. And I am ribbing through his team, and now that... Um, his slow bro is, uh, not his slow bro, his uh, Snorlax is down, this match is going much faster. Now, um, his slow bro is still asleep, I'm going to go ahead and set out Hugabug, and I'm just going to hope that a Thunder will be able to one-hit KO at that range of health. I'm thinking it probably will, but I'm not 100% sure, so here comes the Thunder. Boom! Hits his sl slow bro, and his health goes down, 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 yes! His slow bro is down, I have nothing to worry about, and this is really, really shaping up to be excellent. Uh, out is going to come as Ambipom, and I go, I go ahead and call back. I really didn't have to do that, um, but I think this is his last Pokemon, and I realize at this point that I can go for the body bag, go for the 6-0 victory. Even though my opponent actually did play quite well. I, I hesitate to call this a body bag because this was such a long battle, and it was so uh, intense for so long. But uh, I am going to be able to go ahead and set up my sub this turn. And now he's got nothing he can do. I'm going to go for the Focus Punch, and this is going to be the end of the battle. So uh, Smasher 225, really, really excellent battle. You know, the 6-0 really doesn't tell you anything about the battle, because it was actually a really good game of prediction for a long, long time. Uh, you know, otherwise this wouldn't have been as long of a battle as it was. So Ambipom goes down, and that is the match. Uh, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.